homework helpers, technology trends, and business bounties. All this and more as the Stafford Weekly News starts now. Welcome to the Friday, September 22nd edition of the Stafford Weekly News. I'm Randall Williams. Homework. It is the most dreaded word for students and also for the parents who might need to help them. Fortunately, there's an online service that can help them both. And it's free. Today we're teaching a BrainFuse class. Uh, BrainFuse is one of our online resources and it's a fantastic resource actually. It um, provides free one-on-one -on -one tutoring for students, for adults. Um, this tutoring, it's, they have a variety of subjects that are covered um, for students in kindergarten all the way up through 12th grade. Um, and the tutoring is available Monday through Sunday, so seven days a week basically from 2 p.m. to 11 p.m. And you can log on and get access to a, a tutor and work one-on-one -on -one together on the subject area that you're focused on. It's really simple to access. You go to the library, the Fort Bend County Library's homepage, and from there, there's a research drop-down menu. Click on research, and then you'll click on homework and tutoring. And it's one of the resources that's available there. Um, if you create an account with BrainFuse, you can save any work that you upload, any practice exams that you take, and any sessions that you have with tutors to refer to you know, later on if you need to. Um, but you don't necessarily have to create an account. Tutors, they cover a variety of topics. So you know, your math, your reading, your writing, your sciences, your social studies. But BrainFuse has a couple of featured tutoring services and that includes um, assistance with filling out the FAFSA paperwork and a chess tutor. So if you are a college-bound senior and you need help with FAFSA, this is a great resource. Or if you are just interested in learning chess or improving your chess skills, this is great for that as well. Not just for students, um, there are services that are for adults. There's an adult learning section where adults can work on improving their basic skills, um, there's a writing lab where both students and adults can upload essays and written works, but not just essays, but resumes as well, and get um, the writing instructors from BrainFuse, they'll look it over, offer feedback, constructive criticism to help improve those essays and resumes. This is a great resource for that as well. If you can't quite, don't know how to help your child or your student, you can definitely use this resource, log on, work with a one-on-one -on -one tutor that can teach those a little more complicated subjects like higher level math. Especially this time of year when you have, you know, students are back in school and you're getting back into that routine and maybe you find that you have a student who needs a little extra help in an, an area um, so they can get one-on-one -on -one help with this service and since it is from 2 to 11 p.m. you can kind of get that help on your time and I know they, they're busy, busy students. So, weekend assistance is invaluable. There are several opportunities for SMSD parents to meet and greet their children's teachers and get involved with their education. We visited one such event at Stafford Middle School. So it's your typical quiet Wednesday evening in Stafford. So why are there so many cars at Stafford Middle School? Oh, I'll bet it's open house. So we are having our fall open house um, here at Stafford Middle School. We're really excited to have our parents back in the building. Um, they came in for meet the parent, meet the teacher night back in August, and so we're excited to have them back again right before the end of the six weeks so we can start checking on students' progress. 
So, I mean, there's quite a bit I hope to accomplish. Um, one of our biggest goals is to in improve student achievement. Um, we are working really hard to get our reading and science scores up, and so we're doing a lot of work, leg work on the, you know, behind the scenes to make sure that our students are, are able to be successful. We're providing interventions, we're doing tutorials, and, and we're doing a, a, so much work to try to make sure that our students are meeting their ac academic achievement goals. And since you watch Stafford Weekly News, you know this is going to be a tough year budget-wise for SMSD. Is there anything the public can do to help? The public can do quite a bit. So. Um Many, many of our public, uh, our community members know about our issues that we're having, we've been having with our budget and so it would be nice to just have some people to come in and volunteer and help out as much as possible. We need parents to join the PTO, we need uh, community members to donate as much as, you know, any kind of school supplies or backpacks or anything like that that they can donate for our students um, because we want the last thing our students and parents to worry about is how they're going to, you know, supply um, their students uh, for school every day. And who is this mysterious woman accompanying the principal? Uh, so this is Brooke, uh, my daughter. She is a student enrolled at the Stafford ECC in the daycare. Um, and she's been with at, at Stafford MSD since she was six months old and now she's almost two. For Spartan Spotlight, this is Randall Williams. The future is now, next. In Stafford, diversity is not just a number, it's who we are. When you are here, you become part of the story. You can sleep well knowing we're always on the job and looking out for you. It's a great place for growth and opportunity. Tradition starts here. We teach your children and we stick around for your grandchildren. We are one, we are Stafford. This is the city of Stafford, and we are one. It's been said we are all interested in the future because that is where we are going to be spending the rest of our lives. HCC participated in a recent expo focusing on the technology that would shape our futures. The Fort Bend Future Initiative is really putting on what's today's, our fourth Tex Expo. And it really is about bringing back an advisory group of businesses and education leaders to bring focus on Fort Bend County being our true technology corridor and innovation hub. And so, as others will talk about, we have so many elements to our community here from our educational resources, our regulatory environment, our businesses, and most importantly, such a great diversity and uniqueness to our community that allows us to really leverage different perspectives. And that's what innovation is about. You get the innovation from leveraging different perspectives. And what's happening here at U of H where we're at today, along with HCC, which is a tremendous, tremendous partner in everything we're doing, we're able to really bring these expos and really highlight the technology and innovation that's happening in Fort Bend County and really making it a destination for businesses and others as an innovation hub. Uh, so it's a great experience. So we're able to showcase, uh, you know, what, what we do in technology sales, uh, you know, to, to a bunch of great folks here in Fort Bend and, and universities and students and uh, those, it was exciting for us to be here. 
Uh, Summis Industries has uh, been around for, for 25 years here in the Fort Bend area. Uh, we are a technology partner, uh, so we're titanium with Dell. We do a lot with security. Um, uh, AI is, is, is emerging as, as one of our big projects. Uh, so we partner with universities all over the state of Texas, uh, oil and gas, and, and pretty much a, you know, a lot of different areas. But we, we specialize in, in state contracts, so we're on all of the state contracts. And, and uh, we're a certified national hub as well. Yeah, I think it's an amazing opportunity for students looking for opportunities right here locally. Uh, we have so many uh, great companies uh, that are not only currently exist, whether you're talking about uh, our oil and gas or healthcare, but tech companies itself that are expanding here in Fort Bend County. Uh, we're pretty excited. There are existing relationships. In fact, HCC is a uh, active member uh, at Fort Bend Chamber of Commerce. Uh, I just came from a leadership conference, for example, uh, where we have representation from Houston Community College. Well, HCC, as I'm sure you're aware, is a leader in the area of technology. And when, when you're looking at the area of uh, artificial intelligence, we have some of the finest staff and some of the, the cutting edge programs in the country uh, that we want to be here so that we can share this information with, with the students interested in this area. It's, um, it's hard to know what's going to happen with artificial intelligence in, fu in the future. Uh, cybersecurity is a critical component for us, which is why we specialize in a cybersecurity program. So we, we understand the role technology is going to play, and that's why we're here today to share that with potential students who are looking at this as a viable career field. It's a point in many a movie where somebody has to say, there's a new sheriff in town. Well, she may not actually be a sheriff, but HCC has a new chancellor, and she stopped by to introduce herself. Hello, my name is Dr. Margaret Ford Fisher and I am grateful to the Houston Community College Board of Trustees for the confidence they have placed in me through this appointment. I am delighted to embark upon this new journey focused on collaboratively effecting positive change in the lives of our students and the communities we serve. When I arrived at HCC nearly four decades ago, I started as an English professor. Thereafter, my journey led to serving as president of the HCC Northeast College, and more recently, the inaugural president of the HCC Online College. Every step of my journey at HCC has been marked by extraordinary opportunities afforded me at this great institution. Similarly, HCC provides immeasurable opportunities which lead to student success. Our vision is to create and implement a real world education for a talent strong Houston. Advancing this call will help guide us as we invest in our people, our students, and our community. Together, we will honor the hard work and willing spirit of our faculty, staff, and students as we engage our strategic partners to build innovative programs which meet the evolving needs of our students in our community. So as we navigate our future, we will remain committed to making our educational experience more accessible. We will also simplify our processes, expand our programs, and harness the power of mobile technology and innovation to ensure that every student has the opportunity to thrive at HCC. We believe in more than just the numbers at HCC. We believe in providing relevant, transformative education to all Houstonians, regardless of their previous educational experiences. We further believe in the power of credentials that will open doors and positively change lives. So I look forward to continuing to shape HCC into an inclusive, innovative and thriving institution of higher education. Together, we will build pathways to success, empowering every member of our HCC family to achieve their fullest potential. Thank you.
Minding Stafford's Business, next. You can try, but you won't find another city like Stafford, Texas. Serving our community just like you like it. Taking care of you and your home since 1945. We believe in STEM to learn and STEM to earn. We're heading into college certified and career ready. As a former student of Stafford, I take pride in keeping our classroom safe. We are Stafford, we are one. Stafford is famously a business friendly city, but what sort of businesses call it home? Here are some for your consideration. We at Universal Lights have been serving Stafford, Fort Bend County, and the greater Houston area for the past 28 years. We are a family-owned business. We are here to help you with all your lighting needs. Check us out on Facebook or Instagram, and please visit our website at www.universallightsinc.com. Southern Ice Cream has been in Stafford since 1978. We are a local woman-owned business and we are a wholesale distributor that carries the largest variety of ice cream novelties and three gallon tubs. Our customers consist of mobile vendors, uh, catering events, we also do schools, K-12, through healthcare, and a multitude of corporate events. Our catering services consist of ice cream push carts with umbrellas and filled with all your favorite novelty treats. We have ice cream truck events and we have Sunday party events. We love being part of Stafford and the Fort Bend community and pride ourselves on our great customer service, quality products, and the resources to be able to provide our customers the best solutions possible. Southwest Calibration has been in business for 34 years in Stafford. We calibrate precision measurement and testing equipment, as well as distribute metrology equipment to manufacturers. We have long-standing relationships with Slumberjay, Halliburton, and Weatherford as we steward their thread gauge rental programs. We also have extensive customers in the automotive, medical, and aerospace industries. If you need calibration services, feel free to contact us at Southwest Calibration. Our website is swcal.com. If you have a business in Stafford and are interested in having us highlight your business, please email us at citycommunications at staffordtex.gov. That's a wrap on our news for this week. Thank you for joining us. For everyone here at Stafford Weekly News, I'm Randall Williams. May all your news be good news. This program was produced on the Stafford campus of Houston Community College. The Stafford Historical Society's most recent meeting was held at the site of city founder William J. Stafford's grave, which, despite its accompanying historical marker, is a little hard to find. All of this land was William Stafford's and uh, we're excited because this is his actual plantation. I mean it was bigger and broader and wider but thank God we at least have this much left. <laughs> the lake that ran through here became a canal and this belongs to the Gulf Coast Water Authority. So they have to keep it secure because of the water. And um, believe you me, it was difficult for me to get in here. And I know my husband was on the water board for like 32 years, but that's okay. I, I can respect their security for this place because it has to be that way. Well, we have the opportunity to 
celebrate a little history today about Stafford and, and William Stafford that founded the city of Stafford. Uh, I think it's very good that every now and then we, we kind of acclimate and get everybody aware of how Stafford got here. Uh, Miss Sadie Williams uh, with the Stafford Historical Society is here. A number of members of the Historical Society as well as residents of Stafford are here to honor and, and learn more about our history in Stafford. Timing is very important. About this same time, last Saturday, a number of us were in Galveston at a Texas Municipal League meeting. And we went all around the room introducing ourselves. I was on this side, and the individual I'm going to tell you about was way over on this side. So after I introduced myself and told them about all the great things of Stafford, as we moved around the room, this gentleman stood up and said, my last name is Stafford. And if it wasn't for my family, you would have accomplished no great things. So you talk about timing. So I want to call Brad Stafford up here. It's pretty awesome. I've, you know, I, I've, I have a lot of pride for our family. And, and whenever the mayor started talking and we've done some, some of my family members have done some DNA testing and, and we traced back to William Stafford, um, and the fact that I only live a little over an hour away it was kind of neat to be able to come down and when I met Mayor, uh, it was neat that he invited me to come to this because I had no idea this event was happening today. And so my daughter would actually be here as well. So there'd be several, there'd be a couple of Staffords here. But this is my first time actually to be on this site and it's really awesome. Um, I actually told them I came here to get more information about my family. So anybody that can help us out, uh, it would be great. And it's been great to meet all of you guys. No one gets a diploma alone. You need support. This is an all-women's facility, <laughs> made by women for women. It is for the everyday woman. And when I say that, I mean that you could come here and be yourself and be comfortable. Not to say anything bad about any the other gyms in the area, but this is just for women. Because as you know, women go, we go through our own issues and family and children. So this is a safe place. You don't have to worry about being dressed a certain way. You don't have to worry about men gawking at you. This is a facility for the average woman. And as I start working out, not only did I get cuter, but I felt so good, right? And so we kept working together and he encouraged me to get my training certificate. And when I did that, he said, Fee, you need to find somewhere, create a space just for women. When you walk in my door, the first thing I wanna know is why are you here? What brought you into the Women's Health and Fitness Center? And some people come because they wanna gain weight, lose weight. Some of us are professional uh, fitness competitors. I'm 60, I just retired some months ago. But what you saw today was a couple of the ladies that will be going to the stage in September. And so what we do around here is we help each other. I don't care if you could do one push-up or 100 push-ups, we don't leave any woman behind. And when people start saying, oh, Fee's done 20 something shows and, and she's done a TED talk and, you know, had a uh, uh, show about her life on Amazon and has all these trophies, I start looking over my shoulder going, who are they talking about? Because I don't see myself there. I see myself as that same everyday chick. I mean, there's no other way to say it, but I'm so grateful that God found it necessary for me to do those things so that I could tell another woman, no matter what you have been through, no matter what you are going through, every day is a new day. I get the opportunity to start over every day. So that means if this day doesn't turn out the way I want it to, when I wake up tomorrow, I get another opportunity to get it right. And so those trophies remind me of my years of recovery my years of giving back to somebody else, my years of hard work and not being afraid, because that is one thing I'm not afraid of. You might knock me down, but I know how to dust myself off and get back up. That's what those trophies mean to me. 
I call myself the jack of all trades because God gave me the ability to be able to relate to people on any level, at any time, in any space. Uh, I'm a paralegal by trade. I am an author. I wrote a story about my life from recovery to discovery, my journey through addiction. The book is on Amazon. And uh, so I'm not afraid to put it out there because what was so freely given to me has to be given away in order to keep it. They can expect the truth because a lot of times when our ladies go to gyms, people don't tell them the truth. You are not gonna lose weight overnight. You are not gonna have the body that you bring me in a magazine. You are not, that is not your story. So when I talk to people, I tell them, you are gonna get what you give out. That means if you do the work, Oh, things are gonna change. Your body's gonna change, you're gonna lose weight. But the thing for me is, I need them to change from the inside out. So I'm gonna talk to, him, talk to them real truth, real expectations. So don't come in my door with a picture of a girl from Instagram and say I won't look just like her because I'm gonna probably send you back out the door because that's not what I do. I work from the inside out. And so that's what they can expect. I am transparent, I'm all over all social media. Everybody knows I'm a recovering person. I'm not gonna sugarcoat that. If you're suffering from any disease when you walk in here, I'm gonna tell you, you need to get some help. We got several therapists running around here. So they know when they come in here, don't come in here blowing smoke at me, cause I'm gonna break you back down and say, wait, wait, we have to start from the beginning. Cause you gotta go to one before you can get to 10.